All right, everyone. To help protect your sites, when you're publishing a blog post or any type of post on your site, like a coupon or event, the system does allow you to embed a YouTube video or a Vimeo video or an iframe uh, link from Facebook by default. But to help protect your site from members or from your staff who might be trying to embed iframes from maybe uh, other sources or, or podcasts that you really don't want on your site, it doesn't allow it by default. However, there is a way to whitelist domains that you want to allow to be embedded into your post. And I want to show you two examples of, of how this works and how you can do it. So what I wanted to do is use a podcast and also use a slide share. Uh, it's basically a PDF slideshow, kind of like a magazine. Uh, you can upload your PDF and then it creates a slideshow of the pages. So if we wanted to embed something like this into a blog post or, or on our site on a static page, or if we wanted to embed uh, like a podcast. So there's this site here called uh, Radio Public for podcasters. You can search, uh, you know, any keyword here and uh, you'll get a podcast. Now you might have your own podcast that you're hosting on a third party a solution like Podbean or iTunes or somewhere else like that. But in this case, let's say I wanted to embed this, this podcast here. So I haven't whitelisted this domain name. So if I attempt to embed this podcast into a blog post, let's see what happens. It is going to get rejected, but I just want to go through the motions with you. So most embed tools will provide an iframe embed. That's what uh, YouTube provides, Vimeo, uh, and many, many sites. And this is what this is related to is specifically iframe embed code. So uh, we can copy this link here and let's actually go to a, a site here. I have, uh, I'm logged in on a sample site. We're kind of playing around here. Let me try to add a community article and I'll publish my first article, and this will be a test podcast. So if I come down here, what you can actually do is, although this is, it says insert video, um, you can click on the embed code, this is good to know, and just drop any iframe here. Now, this iframes from this website, embed.radiopublic.com, haven't been whitelisted yet, but let's go through the motions together. So it is going to show here temporarily, but if I save my changes, it does disappear because we haven't whitelisted that domain name. So let me show you how you can start whitelisting domains and start embedding content from all sorts of sources into your blog articles and things like that. So just quickly, I want to open up a notepad here and I want to paste the iframe code here. So what we want to whitelist is... Uh, is this embed.radiopublic.com. That's the domain that I want to allow iframes from. So let's do this together. We can start in the dashboard and under settings, we can go to advanced settings. It's really simple actually. You think it's like a whitelist. Yeah, here. So it's like a, uh, allowed iframe sources. So by default, there's SoundCloud, YouTube, Vimeo, Facebook. I could just add a comma here and paste this. And just to be extra safe, I'm going to do the embed dot radio public and also just radio public.com and I'm going to go ahead and save my changes and I have a comma in between those very good okay uh, so now let's go back and take this iframe code and let's try to create an article again I'll just go ahead and refresh this page and we'll come back here uh, we'll click on that video insert link we'll click on the embed code section and let's paste this here and click insert and we'll go ahead and save the changes. So now it's staying here. So it's, it's going to be saved in there. It's allowing it. And of course, if I go to view the post on the live site, that podcast is going to be there. This actually almost makes our separate SoundCloud tool where you just put the SoundCloud link a little redundant because you could just make blog posts using the SoundCloud embed code, the iframe code that they provide. But this is really cool. If you're a site curating content from other sources, you know, it's perfectly fine to embed, especially if there's an embed code that's meant to be shared, other people's podcasts on your site. If you're looking for ways to add content to your site, kind of in this format, you know, why not? share a podcast here and write a few words about why you like this podcast, why your members would be interested in this podcast, and you instantly have content there for your site. 
The podcast is doing the heavy lifting for you, but you could write a nice article that summarizes the podcast or what people can gain or your thoughts on what you think about the podcast. So it's a really easy way to start posting content from other sources that have players like this. I'll just hit the play button here. And in my headphones, the sound is playing. Now let's do something else. Let's say you have a magazine. There's a lot of tools on there. So you have PDF magazines online and you want to embed those on the site. You know, SlideShare is something that we use at Brilliant Directory sometimes to post some of the webinar slides. So here we can see there's 34 slides here. Um, they're basically just copies of the, the long webinar we did a while ago. But there is a share link here. And of course, there are a few ways to share this. And we see the embed code with the iframe. And I'll just go ahead and copy this. Now, here's something to look out for. Probably you're, the website owner, you are going to be doing this more. So sometimes with these, they give you a little bit extra than you need when you're popping it into the article. So what I like to do is really all we want is what's in between that, those iframe tags. So let's look here again at this first example. We see iframe and then iframe, and it closes with a caret. So let's paste this slide share here. We're going to see all this extra stuff. So Really what my eyes just want to look for is where does the iframe close? And I see it closes right here. So I'm just going to hit enter, 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 enter. This is all that I really need. All this extra stuff is really just promoting SlideShare more and it's for links back to SlideShare and all that stuff. So I just want the magazine flip style slideshow from SlideShare. So just look for iframe to iframe and make sure it's closing with this little carrot here. So Let's try to add this to that article now, same article, and we could put it down here underneath. So same thing, I'm going to click on, it says insert video, but uh, what we want to do is embed code with iframes, and I'll insert it. Now it is going to show it here temporarily, and I'll save the changes, and it's gone. It's gone because I need to whitelist and allow iframes and embeds from this domain. And it's a really good security tool that it's done like this. So what we want here is we could see I want slideshare.net. So that's what I want to whitelist or add to my uh, allowed iframe sources here. So I'm just going to put another comma and paste it and save the changes. Okay, and let's just copy that iframe to iframe code once again. I'll refresh the page just so it gets those changes. And we'll go ahead and attempt to add this. Uh, once again here. Embedded code, iframe to iframe, insert. So here it is, and we'll go ahead and save the changes. And now we can see it is actually part of the article here, and it's, and it's live, so let's go to view the post. We can see here now we have iframes embedded from two different sources that weren't allowed on the site before, but now they are. And what's really cool, I'm gonna take it one step further, just to talk about a little bit of design aesthetics and things like that. So, you know, we have this table function. So what you could do is create a little table here. And in one of the columns, and let's take that first code for this, uh, the podcast, uh, we can do right in that cell, we can do the embed. And on the left side, we can talk about uh, this podcast and you know highlight uh, some 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 thoughts from it you know basically you could put text on the left side and you can certainly slide this a little left and right and you know you can change the font size just to give you guys some ideas of what you can do with this i'll just go ahead and save those changes and we'll look at it on the live site here so obviously this is pretty big font here, but you can see here, you can actually style these a little bit. You could go full width real easily, or you can uh, you know, segment them into different cells, making them a table uh, and things like that. So maybe you wanna put a call to action here. Maybe this is your podcast. You wanna have it on the right and maybe you know, subscribe to our podcast wherever your podcasts are hosted or people can subscribe to them. Uh, you can put any content here. So in a nutshell, that's how it works. It works with adding iframe to iframe, and as long as you add the domain to the allowed list, it should be no problem. Just make sure when you're copying embed code and you, you see iframe and some extra, extra stuff, just look for that last iframe and get rid of everything else, and that's, that's what you want. 
And you could really publish a lot of content really quickly uh, if you have a source for, I mean, I'm just using podcasts as an example, but anywhere that has videos or podcasts or magazine style slideshows um, that you can embed on your site. And then you can write articles and talk about it. Really quick and easy way to add content to your site.